I welcome all of you on platform of your PD education. I think the only platform which is guiding you for various admissions in uh, higher education courses uh, going on in IITs, IICs, IIMs, etc. So uh, this you are watching the series of recent updates. I mean weekly update, I can call it. Uh, whatever IITs, NITs, triple IITs, whatever uh, new courses uh, which are worth mentioning, which we find suitable for you, we are updating that. So, so far on 14th of October, what are the latest uh, updates? Uh, you remember the first update was on 9th October I gave you and I told you that on 9th October these are the IITs and uh, one NIT Bhopal and I am Ahmedabad for fellowship program in management. So uh, almost every IM comes with the fellowship program in management and remember one thing, fellowship program in management BTEC people sitting in final year are eligible and this course will start in summers that is from june july onward but admission season starts from Gen december january like 21st january is the form for i am ahmedabad so uh, there are i mean courses phd courses fellowship program in management which are taken through gate they are taken from cat and gre also but also from the gate and all others like uh, these courses are going to start from january so what is the difference between iits and iims IIMS courses fellowship program in management will not start in January. They will start in May, June only, but admission process will start now. That means you have to fill the form and interview will be in March, April, etc. But IIT's PhD, MS, MTech courses will be in uh, January. They will be starting in January. Okay, so uh, one more Queensland University also we covered. Uh, th that means uh, there are certain courses which are in collaboration, IIT Delhi Queensland course. Now today uh, I'm going to add this and I'm going to add some more into this. So 14th October ka jo humne detail diya tha, usme kuch chije mein uh, wahan pe add nahi kiya tha, which I'm adding today. I mean, what are the courses? This all these columns I have covered uh, in the previous slide like this. I have covered all this. But then students said that sir, why don't you mention about the eligibility or fees or something like that? So I'm mentioning that also for your reference now. Like IIT Bombay mein, uh, the minimum criteria is 60% or 6 CGPA, 5.5 CGPA, something like that. But this is a minimum criteria. But if you ask me, sir, at what percentage or CGPA I'm going to get call from IIT Bombay, I'll say more than 8. General category may more than 8. So it is not 6, it is 8. But yes, there is a minimum criteria also. And the fees, what is the application fees that also I have kept it. So in my opinion, this is not a very, very useful data for us. Why? Because like, see, IIT Madras has already mentioned that they want 8 CGPA for all this and 7.5 CGPA for this, for PhD course. IIT Madras has already mentioned. So if your CGPA is less than 8, do not apply for PhD course in IIT Madras. If you're from general category, that is the meaning of it. IIT Bombay is saying 6. It does not mean everybody who is having 6.5 will get called. It is not like that. So I'm telling you this is a minimum criteria. Somewhere it is realistically uh, shown, somewhere it is not shown, something like that. But yes, uh, you should think that if you are more than 7.5 or 8, then you have a chance for getting call from PhD. Otherwise, chances may not be there. So this all I have mentioned in the previous. Now, what are the update on 14th of October? So up to 14th of October, uh, what is the two new additions? And they are very, very important additions. IIT Kanpur and IIT Delhi. You know, many students keep on asking, sir, is IIT, is MTEC course also going to come in winter admission? So yes, you can see now IIT Kanpur is the institute which comes with the MTEC course. And uh, as I told you, the previous other than IIT Madras, MS course was not there. But IIT Kanpur may MS MTEC course and IIT Delhi may also MS course ke liye admission ke liye form a gaya hai. Last date is 2nd November, 30th of October. Uh, for this and these are the uh, some criterias. What are the criterias here? And this is basically uh, what we should know. So candidate belonging to SCST who have passed the basic qualifying degree are eligible to apply irrespective of the marks, which is basically there. So there is no cutoff for SCST candidates here. Yes. So what is the most important news? What is the update within from 9th October to 14th October? What is the update now? Update is that MTech in IIT Kanpur has come. MS in IIT Kanpur has come. PhD direct PhD has come. MS direct PhD in IIT Delhi has come. So two main IITs which I can look forward to uh, for winter admission IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi have also come out with their forms. So IIT Madras was already there. Now these two IITs have also come out. If you ask me, sir, more IITs are going to come. Answer is yes. 
IIT Guwahati will come and more IITs will come. Almost every IIT will come out with the forms and we will keep on updating you. Hope you are keeping this track and you are preparing well and for the applications and all. So just I will keep on updating you every week. Just uh, keep yourself updated with your PDF. Thank you.